Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing Adobe XD tutorial. Today we're going to work on these amazing 3D stack animations that you can follow along and create with me. These look absolutely amazing and very mesmerizing and very immersive if I must say. I will have the base file for both these screens attached in the description below so you can download the file and just follow along to make this amazing animation come to life. I will be giving timestamps in the description so you can choose which design you want to create the first design or the second design and skip to that design okay so the first design starts very simply so I'll click on this little rectangle on the left or click on R on the keyboard and just create a simple rectangle right here make sure that the rectangle is 24 pixels from the left uh, while holding option or alt on your keyboard you can see the distance uh, that way you'll be able to hold shift and then drag out to increase or decrease the size as well. Once this square has been created, you can just increase the border radius from the right by changing zero value to 24. That is perfect. I will also remove the borders as well. Now I've prepared a folder right here for all the images. You can always use your own images. I'm just placing my favorite album art right here. So if I just drag out any one of these images and place it inside this rectangle, Adobe XD will adjust it automatically. Once this is done, I will add some additional elements. The first element is a text layer. So I'll click on T on the keyboard, then click anywhere here. Then I will start typing no pressure, which is the album name or whatever you want to give the title as and a subtitle, which is just the name of the artist here in this case. The subtitle needs to be much smaller right now. No pressure right here is should be 20 pixels and logic here should be 16 or 18 pixels. I'll choose 16 since that is a better size. I'll also change the weight from bold to a regular. Now, as you can see, there is a clear differentiation between the two texts, the two titles here, and I'll group these by selecting both of them and saying Command G or Control G on the keyboard. For a play icon right here, I will go to this website called remixicon.com. I absolutely love this resource. And then I will search for play. To copy this icon, I'll just click on it and just say copy SVG from right here. Go back to XT and paste it anywhere right here. So you, you don't need to download icons anymore. Of course, I'll change the color to white so it's much more visible. And I'll probably increase the size of this to 32. Now I will also make sure that it's centered towards the text right here. And it's also 16 pixels from the right at least. Remember guys, you need to place everything properly. Otherwise, otherwise there'll be little to no consistency in design. The next thing is I'll select everything while holding shift and say command G or control G. And as you can see, there's a group which has been created. I can rename this group to the stack dash layer. So you know this, these are the stack layers right here. What I, the next thing I'll do is just hold option and drag this out. So now we have two of these. To replace the image, all I need to do is just drag out any one of these images into this image right here. Once I've done that, it has replaced the image successfully. I can always change the title later. Now I've copied it four times and I've replaced the images in this case. Now we'll start with the 3D progression. So we'll start with the first layer right here. We will click on this little cube on the right here next to transform. And what I'm going to do is I'll hold this little circle in the middle so that these icons are displayed. Then I will hold this and drag it towards me, which is drag it towards the bottom. And as you can see, this layer has been placed at the topmost level. Now in web design terms, we call this Z index or Z index. And of course, I will center this once again and make sure that the size is what we had set earlier, 24 pixels from the left and 24 pixels from the right. Now next, I will select the next stack layer right below that. And I can't really see it, but I can see it in the layers panel on the left. I will also drag out this circle once again, do the same thing, drag it towards the bottom and make sure it's just right below this. And also make sure that it's more or less the same size. We'll do this with the third stack layer again. We can't see it, but we will do the same technique. Just move it towards you and it will be placed right below this second layer here. And also with this last layer, we don't need to do this again, but for the sake of consistency, we'll do it once more. Of course, this is fine, but we need to add that 3D touch. Now here, if I click on the second layer here, I have three values at the right here. I will change the topmost value, which is X rotation to 10. I'll select the third layer here, change the rotation to 20 rather than 10. Keep on increasing 
10 pixels, I think you guys get the idea. Also, if I go inside each of these layers while holding control, I will also be, be able to change the shadow. So adding a 12 by 24 shadow, 12 on the Y, 24 on the blur, and increasing the opacity to about 25 or 20 should be good enough. This will give it a little more a sense of depth. As you can see, the shadows have been added. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to do this and then come back and resume it again. Now for the magical trick, duplicate this artboard right here, Command D or Control D while the artboard is selected, it will duplicate it. Now in this layer, we need to flatten all these albums out, which gives that early iOS appeal when all the albums used to just float in a 3D space. I absolutely love that. While this topmost group has been selected, I'll change the degree rotation on the top, which is X axis to 60. Ah, uh, this looks good. And I'll do that for all these while holding shift, I can select all of these, change all the degrees to 60 degrees on the X axis. So you have this even stack created right here. I'll also make sure that these cards are now closer to each other. Just adjust them so they're closer. Now we have this consolidated album stack in a way. I'll duplicate this once again by Command D or Control D. And as a last step, I'll select the last album right here, which was Mac Miller's album. I'll just hover over this little circle, bring it down. So just drag it down till the album comes towards the top and looks bigger as well. And then I will move it towards the top, just like I'm dragging it towards the top of the stack. And this looks absolutely amazing. Also, I will drag all of these towards the bottom a little bit, and then maybe even drag the topmost album towards the bottom so that it looks like a clean and original stack. Looking really, really good. Now I'll click on this artboard one last time and say Command D or Control D duplicate it. Just this first album art, I will reduce to zero degrees on the X axis from the right and also decrease the size, just adjust it accordingly. And just like we did before, this is more or less perfect, but this will do for now. And of course, for all these other little album arts, I will do the same. 10 degrees as we did for the original, there won't be much change. Our animation is ready to go. So now what we need to do is click on this first little album art on the first artboard, go to prototype mode on the top here. If I drag this little arrow, this blue arrow to the second artboard, it will show me some interaction options on the right. I'll switch from tap to drag and auto animate is selected. Make sure easing. I will change to ease in out. Now for, for the second artboard, we will just drag, uh, we will click on the artboard name here. So the entire artboard becomes blue, drag the arrow to the third artboard right here. Instead of drag or tap, click on time trigger. So zero seconds of time delay, ease in out 0 0.8 seconds. For, uh, for the third screen, I will do the same thing, same exact thing, time zero seconds, auto animate, ease in out and 0 0.8 seconds. And voila, you'll have your final screen. So if I click on the first artboard and I try to preview this by clicking on this play button, if I drag down on this first little album art, uh, see how the dragging animation is also very smooth. I love this and it will restack itself and it looks absolutely amazing just like we did earlier. The first animation looked absolutely amazing. Now let's move on to the second animation of the day, the timer or the countdown animation in this case. So in this case, what I want to do is create a row of time first and then animate it. For the first step, I'll click on T on the keyboard, press anywhere on the screen and type out 00, 00 to start off with. Oops, 00. 00. The best part about XD is you can just hold shift, drag out to increase the size of the text as well. Looking really good. I think this size for now is fine. You can adjust the size depending on your needs as well. If I'll drag out while holding option, it will just copy it just like that and make sure it's placed to the center. And I'll do it once more and make sure it's placed the same amount of distance. It's 33 in this case, but you can always increase or decrease. I also want to put these little colons in between so that, you know, there's a differentiator between both of these timings here. Of course, I will click on all of these while holding shift hold option and drag out to copy this, reduce the opacity to about 50% and do the same for the third row right here. This is more or less for display. We're not going to bring this into action. You can of course experiment with that. Now that the timer looks good and it feels like a timer now, we can now come to the animation. So what I want to do is make sure that now make sure that the first entire row is a group. So just click on all three numbers while holding shift 
and say Command G or Control G on your keyboard. Now we will create a duplicate. So click on the artboard, say Command D or Control D to duplicate it. On the second artboard, I want to do one thing. I want to remove these two little two little guys from here by saying Command comma or Control comma together. That will just hide these and you really can't press them anymore. So they're hidden. And the same for all these, what I'll do is select all of them and say Command comma or control comma on your keyboard. Perfect, looks good and we don't have any distraction. Okay, now comes the magic. Now I want to bring this to the center. Quick shortcut is just to click on this little align horizontal on the top right and this will align horizontally. I'll also hold shift and drag out to increase the size of the digits itself. Place them in the center and also bring the zero zero close to each other. Looking good. Also make sure there's a colon in between to give that differentiator. Now that this entire group has been set right here and the size is fine as well, I will basically duplicate it twice. So once and twice. The top layer, I will select, click on the, the little 3D cube right here. Amazing. Now, if I hover over this, it will show me these little arrows. I'll drag up and down to adjust it on the X and Y axis in this case. And I want to make it look like this. Ah, this is looking really good. I'll just rotate a little more on the X axis. Ah, looking really good. Just like we did before in the original animation. Hold shift and increase the size of this. This looks really good. For the second layer, I'll select the second layer here and I have to make some changes. So if I go inside this group on the left, I need to change these numbers from five to enter and just say zero four. And the zeros I need to press enter again and say 59 in this case. So we're just counting down the numbers. Now we'll just see with the top layer, how much degrees is there? 24 by 18. Wow, that looks, that's a nice even number. So we'll select the second group from the left or from the center here, and we'll do the same 24 by minus 18, if I'm not wrong. We will also increase the size slightly so that it's slightly smaller than the top layer, but not very, very small. Also reduce the opacity to about 50. Make sure it's placed right below this, not overlapping in any case, but just slightly below this middle line. Here. What I'll do is just copy this once again so that I don't have to change the angle once again. And I'll change the numbers to 04 and 58 in this case. Ah, uh, looking really good. Also, I'll make sure this is below everything by holding this circle in the middle and pushing it up in this case. Perfect. Of course, the last layer, you can always reduce the opacity to about 20 to make it look less sharp and it's just coming in in this case. Okay, now that all our layers are set, for this one, of course, I need to change the text also here to pause timer rather than start timer. Now that we have everything set up, we will do it once more and say Command D or Control D to make the numbers move up. I will just click on this number, hold this little circle and bring it towards me or down so that it moves up and increases in size. Perfect. So place it in the middle and move it up a little bit manually. Also, I will reduce the opacity to zero. Hold this little circle and increase the size by pushing it down. Perfect. And I will also place it in the middle and increase the opacity to 100. Also, I'll bring this up a little bit in, by holding this little circle once again, pushing down to make it slightly bigger and increase the opacity to about 50 and bring it closer. You can do this for as many numbers. You just need to repeat the style here. Just copy this below this, reduce the opacity just like we did before and you'll have another layer. So if I click on the first artboard, go to prototype, click on start timer. In this case, we want the timer to trigger and I'll drag this arrow out to the second artboard, say tap in this case, auto animate, ease in out, and duration is 0.8 seconds is fine, but one second is better. And for the second artboard, we'll do what we did in, with the first design. We'll just click on the artboard itself, drag out this little circle to the third artboard, rather than saying tap, say time, zero seconds delay, auto animate, ease in out, and one second, of course, because there is an interval of exactly one second, perfect. So I'll click on the first artboard to test out. And I, if I click on this little start timer here, ah, see how magical that was. And it can keep on going just like I did in my original design, which I showed you guys earlier. I hope you liked that video and those designs. If you did, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, click on that bell icon as well. Also hit that thumbs up if you're liking my videos. And I'll see you every Monday as well as Thursday, same time, same place. Till then, God bless.